Hey guys, Coach Rob here. Uh, I wanted to uh, show you a workout that I like to do once a week, and it's with free spinning rollers. Um, if you're not familiar with them, what the free spinning rollers do is uh, you'll put your bike on this as the rear wheel spins. You'll notice that it turns the front two, okay? You'll notice that I have two lines put on here, and the reason why I did that is I like to practice trying to stay in between those two lines. It emulates trying to follow that painted line on the open road. Um, you'll notice I don't have any resistance on this. It's just literally free spinning. And the reason why I do the rollers once a week is to improve my pedal mechanics. Um, if you've watched our other videos on how to pedal in full circles, this, these rollers will force you to get a good consistent pedal stroke versus just pedaling from the top and bottoming out and then your other leg gets in the way. The idea is to pull through the bottom of the pedal stroke. If you haven't watched our other video, please do so. It's on isolated leg drill and uh, pedal mechanics. So on these rollers, um, you can imagine they're pretty sketchy. They, you go back and forth quite a bit. The safest and easiest way is to have something that you can hold on to. It's super important that you have a fan nearby because you're not moving anywhere in the body is going to try to get rid of that internal heat called the exothermic process. So you want to have a fan moving over your skin to help keep your core body temperature regulated. Now what I recommend that you do is get the bike situated. Go ahead and get one foot clicked in, okay, so that way when you stand up on the bike, make sure you keep the bike straight up and down. If you lean it, it's going to slide off the roller very quickly. Get your second foot clipped in, and again, it's nothing wrong with balancing on something like this to get yourself started. Just go ahead and start pedaling, and just gradually let go. A couple tricks with the rollers is to always look up. You start to look down too much, and you'll end up running right off of it. Second thing is, is to not overreact on them. I know it seems kind of obvious, but with my hands being right on my stem, I'm steering literally with my wrist. You get a little overzealous. Next thing you know, you're just going to zip right off, all right? So you're going to want to be careful of what you have on your left and your right side. I've seen people try to do rollers and actually go through a wall, okay? They get kind of cocky, if you will, and they get the RPMs up really, really high, and they're cruising along, and all of a sudden they sneeze or they look a different direction, go off right into the wall. Handlebars will poke through the wall, especially drywall. So, the whole idea here is to be smart, be sensible. If you uh, if you will email me at go to our website and email me, I will send you some specific spin workouts that you can do on rollers or stationary trainers for that matter. But the thing that I like about the rollers is you'll see those two blue lines. Like I said to you earlier, I like to try to stay in between them. And what you'll notice is the more you try to focus on it, the harder it gets. It needs to almost be like natural. Truthfully, it's called muscle memory. Okay, the whole idea here is just to create balance. And that balance is designed, or rather created from your core, okay? And the thing that I want you to pay attention to is, look at my feet. You'll notice that you can almost see the bottom of my shoes as I come over the top of the pedal stroke because you have this carbon fiber shoe bottom, if you will, the sole of the shoe is made out of carbon fiber, and if you can get that foot relatively flat over the top, you're going to have that even distribution of power all the way through, okay? Then as you come through the bottom of the pedal stroke, it allows you to be able to scrape that mud off the bottom of your shoes as I outlined in that isolated leg drill video. Now, the one thing I like about the rollers when it comes to knowing if I'm doing it right, is you'll hear the hum of the wheels. You'll literally hear a woom, woom, woom if my chain is not staying tight. I can look in between my top tube and look down at my chain. I shouldn't see the chain having a pause. That's a dead spot in the pedal stroke. All kinds of little things that you can work on. Now, in this uh, workout that I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to do a timed pyramid, and what I'm just trying to focus on is getting my RPMs up and holding them for a sustained duration of time. I'm going to do what I call the five minute pyramid. One minute on, one minute off. Two minutes on, two minutes off. 
all the way up to five minutes and then back down. Just some, something to break it up. And the idea here is it's not about how fast I go, it's about how efficient I pedal. So these are the free spinning rollers. Good luck. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Just visit me at coachrob.com. Thanks for watching.